Bill Gates. Bill Gates, Bill Gates, Bill Gates. You know, the billionaire Bill Gates that is supposed to be so charitable and loving, but yet he's still the richest person in the world. I mean, dude, if you, if you don't need that, you know, 60-something billion dollars, then uh, why don't you just give it away? I mean, if, if, if you care so much and you're so charitable, how are you still the richest man in the world? Uh, well, the reason uh, Bill Gates is still the richest man in the world is because he's an elite globalist and he does not care at all about the population. See, Bill Gates uh, supports death panels. <clears throat> he actually said in in front of a crowd of people, a crowd of teachers, that, you know, if you kill the elderly, then uh, you can hire 10 teachers. <laughs> So yeah, killing your grandma or your grandpa uh, is somehow makes uh, hiring 10 teachers more likely, uh, more available. Uh, Bill Gates is pro-Obamacare, and he's, he's pro-basically uh, socializing America, and uh, or really uh, <laughs> making it a fascist state, which is, you know, all the companies he owns share of, shares of, you know, runs basically runs the country. Um, yeah, I mean, Bill Gates, he he called Edward Snowden a traitor, and he said he's no hero. Uh, when he, when Edward Snowden told the American people, showed the American people that our own government is committing billions of felonies every day, spying on us. Um, so, but 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 to Bill Gates, I guess, I guess that's that's not. Um, an honorable action. That's that's a you know treason. Uh, the reason he thinks it's treason is because Bill Gates wants to spy on you too. You know, if you've ever noticed, uh, Microsoft computers, you can. There's always a virus on Microsoft computers. I haven't gotten a computer yet. Knock on wood. This this is my first laptop ever that I haven't gotten a virus yet. On, but I've only had it for a couple months. Uh, Microsoft computers um, all get viruses. It's funny that that Apple uh, just <laughs> doesn't get viruses. Uh, just doesn't. Uh, when I was in um, middle school and high school, uh, a a student that I knew he was uh, very into Apple products, and he explained to me why. Uh, Apple computers don't get viruses. And it was very simple. He just said, well, they just don't write, they write a co They write in the code to protect you from getting viruses. <laughs> and I know that that may not be the, 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 the most accurate way of putting it, but it, I think that that makes the most sense. I mean, uh, that's the only thing that really makes sense to me. You know, Apple computers don't get viruses. Microsoft computers do get viruses. And then you got to buy all the uh, virusware and spyware and you know protection for the viruses uh, when you have a Microsoft computer, but it's because this scumbag right here, Bill Gates, he uh, he likes screwing you, and people think he's so charitable and whatnot. Uh, but really, you know, he uh, he f you know is fun he funds Common Core, and uh, Common Core is basically standardized testing, national standardized testing for, for school kids. And, uh, you know, while his, while his, but his kids go to a private school, Lakeside High School in uh, Seattle, where basically he learned how to, uh, the teachers actually let him r r teach computer classes and write, you know, computer software and computer codes and programming. Um, and he excelled, and he didn't even need to go to college because, you know, he just dropped out of Harvard because he was so advanced already because the teachers let him, they let him succeed and exceed his potential. And and they taught him um, not with common core standards, those tests and guidelines that they want for every child in America to have that won't help him learn anything. Um, Bill Gates also thinks um, that 
bigger class sizes for Common Core uh, public schools that use Common Core, he thinks that higher class sizes, larger sizes of class, is okay. But at a private school, you need you need uh, small classes with more hands-on uh, and teacher attention to help the kids. Well, of course, because he can afford the twenty-eight grand per student. Uh, and he has three kids, so three, three tuitions um, at twenty-eight grand a piece. He can afford that because he's <laughs> he has sixty billion dollars. He's the most he's the richest person in the world. <laughs> uh, but he does not support public schools um, operating uh, similar to what private schools operate as, because he's an elitist. You're not in the club. You and your kids are not in the club. He does not care about you. Um, and, I mean, I can't really blame everything on Bill Gates. It's a lot of issues. It's the ignorance of people in general. But uh, Bill Gates is a dirtbag. And p him and Warren Buffett, they always appear like they're nice and they give off a, a, a nice, friendly vibe. But really, they're scumbags. I mean, they are elitists that hate you. They want to depopulate the planet. That's why Bill Gates is pro death panel. He's he wants national social socialist health care, which is Obamacare, which is where if you need the care and you want to pay for it, you can't because um, you know some bureaucrat's going to decide if you get to have that surgery. I mean, how is that even a free market? How is how are we living in America where one-sixth of the economy is literally ran by <laughs> the criminal government? It's, it baffles me. But anyway, Bill Gates, I'm sure we'll be seeing more and more of him um, in the news. He seems to be in the news a lot lately um, because he's going to tell us how to live our lives. He's going to because he knows best. You know, He's going to tell your kids that you need bigger class rooms uh, with Common Core being taught. But his children, you know, they're going to get, you know, Common Core free classes um, and be taught how to excel and exceed your potential instead of being in a public school where they basically just teach you to pass the test and then you just end up hating school, not learning anything, and become a criminal or a drug dealer or just a uh, brain dead zombie or someone who just plays video games all day or is attached to their phone. So if you want if you don't want your kids to become that, then you know start calling out Bill Gates and um protesting his common core support for your kids. And I mean just look at this guy man. Oh I'm oh I'm playing Xbox. Oh I'm so innocent yeah, he's a dirtbag. Um, so, anyway, Stu Webb signing off. Uh, subscribe.